Hi, I'm Phil from Prep RS. I'm going to show you how to make a very quick uh, nuclear air filter and also a very inexpensive one. Okay, I'll show you through the components first, um, but let me just have a look at this. This is just um, standard builder's drainage. It doesn't matter whether it's the underground version uh, or the above ground version. It's all the time, but it doesn't matter. It's 100 mil, 4 inch standard uh, drainage pipe. Okay. This is a bung. They use these for the drains again. I like this one because it's adjustable. You can literally tighten up the rubbers uh, to make it a good fit within the drains. These may cost six or seven pounds, something like that. This is threaded bar, which I've used as a plunger. If you can't get threaded bar, um, use a cane, use a, a bit of dowel, whatever you've got, as long as you can plunge it, okay? Now I'll show you the smaller components. Okay, so this is a standard 90 degree bend, okay? It's drainage, it's a different colour because it's probably an underground version as opposed to above ground. That's all, they'll still fit, okay? It's got a rubber seal to both ends. We're going to need one of those. This is an end cap that goes inside to seal it. I've already drilled a 64mm hole into that. I'll show you how to drill a little later, but this is pre-done, okay? You're gonna need two tennis balls, okay? These are round downpipe connectors for drainage, for, for top water drainage, roof drainage, okay? You'll need two of those. This one already done, um, I've literally glued on it a, a restraint strap, okay? A re I've glued on this one a restraint strap um, for square section uh, downspout from your roof and this is just to stop that ball uh, from, from escaping if I can find where I am with the camera it'll stop that ball from escaping okay what well, that's the last thing we want okay okay this is a glue this is a, a solvent cement for plastics uh, we're going to have to stick some stuff together. If you haven't got this, I would have thought a, a, no, a no more nails type product or a, a silicon would have done just as well. Okay. Now this stuff here is literally what they call activated charcoal. It's match head type lumps of char uh, charcoal that's gone through a process uh, to make it absorb pollutants okay it's used very widely in the fish industry for filtration it's used in the wine industry for filtration you can get it quite widely and it's very cheap now if you can't get hold of that for whatever reason um, use the next best thing and that's just charcoal that you'd use for your barbecue uh, literally hammer it down to match head type size uh, and that will do just as well we're going to put that in a cloth or a rag uh, to make our, our principal filter okay Okay, this is the cap end that I told you about. I've already drilled that. Um, so I've got another one of these and that goes there. I want this to end up on the inside of the pipe. Okay, like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a little around that as well. Okay, leave that to dry. This is my charcoal, this is activated charcoal, okay. Right, be careful with that. Okay, put whatever you've got around it just to stop it spilling out. Anything, wire, string, 
these little rubber bunges, whatever you've got. Just try to hold everything in, go as tight as you can. Okay, brilliant. So there we have it, okay. Nice and tight, and it goes. Excellent, something like that. Okay, so we're gonna get that one, which I made earlier. Okay. Okay, so that's into there. Now, this is my drain bung. You buy these all day long from builders merchants, okay? This is my rodded bar. That goes on the end like that. And then I'm gonna screw that up. Okay. Right, okay, here's the uh, completed filter. I'll just explain what, how it works and what the, these balls do, these tennis balls. As you draw the air into this chamber here, the ball right at the end will allow the air to enter, okay? This remains closed, so it blocks the chamber, okay? When you push it, this um, raises up, allowing the air to pump into the room, and the other one, the far one, stops it being pushed out into the um, to the atmosphere outside again, okay? So they work quite well together. In um, Air coming in, air going out, air coming in, and that's how they work, okay? Right, fantastic. So what I want to do now is two more tests. I want to do a smoke test so we can just demonstrate that the air is doing what we think it's doing. And the second one is a volumetric test where we uh, will measure the amount of air being actually pumped into the room, okay? Very important, then we can work out just how many people uh, can breathe the air, simple as that. Okay, let's get on. Like that. We can probably see the effect. Hopefully we can see that all out very very nicely this is a 70 litre bag which is about two cubic feet I'm gonna pop that on there okay let's time it See how long it takes just to fill that bag up, okay? Fifteen seconds. Brilliant. Okay, we have a few figures here. So this air filter here produces 10 minutes of air for one person in 15 seconds. Uh, that means it, it equates to the fact it could support 37 people uh, if it's in continuous use, which is going some, I think. But don't forget you need an outlet somewhere within your bunker, your house, your room, uh, because this brings air in, it doesn't push any stale air out. So right at the other end of your, your space, have a small outlet. Um, to have positive pressure in the room is great news because it means nothing's coming in, it can't. If anything, a little bit of air might leak out 
through some cracks, whatever. Uh, but it certainly can't come in if you've got positive pressure. So, hey, thanks for watching. Cheers. Okay, that's on to, well, not onto there yet. Just a minute. This might be better. I don't think it had the gravity with it that time to hold it down. Oh. Right, take two on that explanation. Right, here we are. We've actually made the filter now. I can't see myself. Right, I have it. Right, so we have a few figures here. I actually can't see myself. Just move that round. Okay, I think we have something. 